Dragon Ball Sparky Zero just had a ton of news drop, and I was lucky enough to go to Summer Games Fest, and on top of that, I actually got to play the game myself for 30 minutes. Obviously, I have a ton of videos I can make about this whole thing, but today, I just wanted to react to all of the information that they just additionally dropped, including new photos, what-if scenarios all played out, exclusive cutscenes from the episode mode. So definitely get hyped. I feel like this is going to be a very excited one. Obviously, the first thing we have to start off with is the what-if. We know that it eventually ends with what I believe is Krillin's death and Great Eight Vegeta being met with Super Saiyan Goku. But how does that what if start off? They've decided to give us that video. All right, up first, we get to make the choice to go it alone. We do make that choice, obviously. We ain't trying to go with you, Piccolo. We, we've done that too many times throughout these games. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> he's mad. Nah, he's definitely mad, bro. He is pissed. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, run. Watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Oh, this is crazy. We get like a whole unique spin on Dragon Ball through this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Krillin. It's kind of similar to the conversation we saw in the anime and manga, but again, it just has such a unique spin on it. All right. It's all or nothing now. It's all or nothing now. We're heading out by ourselves. Except, wait, Krillin decided to come with. Oh, Krillin, I've seen the cutscenes, bro. Maybe it's best you turn around. All right, so instead of Krillin being on the ship with Bulma and Roshi, Krillin is just flying behind Goku. Goku declines Piccolo's invite and takes Gohan back with Krillin and Master Roshi. Master Roshi boards the aircraft with Bulma. Goku and the others go ahead to find Raditz. Oh, look at my ghost. They're stanced up against him. Look at this. Oh, it's like I'm playing the campaign right now. Now, man. Kakarot, I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. Come on, man. Bro, that's your brother. You can't insult your brother like this, Raditz. Nah, you're about to get jumped by the power of friendship. Yeah, it's about friendship. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die. <laughs> you gotta love that Raditz voice line, dude. So it looks like now we are just here with Krillin. Piccolo, I guess, just went home or something. I don't know where bro's at. He, he couldn't at least come to help. Oh, no. Raditz is bringing up Vegeta and Nappa. Also, look at this gameplay, bro. Early Goku, look at this outfit. Damn. Nice beam. Oh, it misses. Raditz is far too fast. <laughs> Him just beating us up while we were firing the beam is too funny. Reply back. Yeah, where you going, Raditz? Where you going? Yeah, talk that talk there, Raditz. Talk that talk. Oh, look, we get to switch into Krillin. Nah, you're not seeing this in any of the other Dragon Ball. Krillin was not here for this. We've got Kamehameha, split energy strike. I right, get in his face. Oh, no, he has armor, bro. He's got armor. Appears by... Is this Raditz's his ultimate? No way. Oh, it looks so good. Damn. Oh, my God. How This better be an ultimate. Damn. That did a chunk of damage, too. 20K. 20k damage. It's like I'm playing BT2 all over again. This AI is cheap. Krillin's still st Oh! I'm gonna see if you've gotten any Pic tougher. Wait, Piccolo still came through. He came to watch. I feel like in this timeline, that would actually be kind of scary, though. Damn, look at the rush down by Krillin. Vanish? Ah, oh, we miss. Oh, anime! Look at the beams. So Piccolo's talking about special beam. Oh, wait. So you've been developing a new technique, too? Just when I thought I might have closed the gap between us. Krillin's alluding to Destructo Disc. Oh, that's sick. Oh, it's not It's not quite ready yet. I, I need some more time in the oven. Oh, are we about to hit the special beam Destructo Disc combo pack? That is... No way. All right, Goku's looking like he's going to go for his ultimate. We do go into the burst mode. No, wait, no. Gohan with the interrupt. Gohan saves the day even in this what if. With Gohan saving the day. Oh, here it is. It's, I know that Destructo Disc noise. Krillin's going to take him out with the Destructo Disc. There's no way I can't even see it hitting the what if. Come on, man. Please. Please. Wait, what? Roshi got here. Oh, he stuns him. He lands the stun. I believe these are all cutscenes you can kind of make in the thing. Maybe? I don't know. Damn. Right through the chest. Goku doesn't die. That's why Go Goku's never going to learn the Kaioken in this timeline. Oh, my God. Raditz just got jumped. That was the mo that was the biggest jumping I've ever seen in Dragon Ball. That was sick. If all of the what ifs are gonna have that level of thought put into them, I could not be more excited. I just re I just remembered. I am a little sad that Krillin's destructor is still missed. I'll take it, bro. Master Roshi with the clutch up. All right, what else do we have to react to here? I think we'll take a little break from the video reactions and go into all of the screenshots we've got here. So up first, we do have a screenshot of the custom battle mode in which you can see that we've created an entire custom battle labeled high difficulty 
difficulty too strong. And during my time with the game, they did let me know that anything you see in green can be customized yourself. So a battle of speed defeat Beerus can say a battle of speed defeat Goku. You know, something like that. It can be customized to, I, I think, whatever you want. I'm not sure on that. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure if you can just write in like Tom, like a battle of speed defeat Tom. Then we have another shot of the kind of battles you can make. Again, you can also customize the intros too. So here we have Cell saying, I've been looking for someone like you, someone who could surpass me to the literal God of destruction Beerus. These guys were not meeting in the series, bro. I don't even know who Cell think he talking to. Then we have a screenshot from just a normal episode for Goku. So this is not a what if or anything like that. It's uh, the normal path and it's Goku obviously hitting the bye guys with Cell in the background looking uglier than usual, bro. Look at him. And up next, I guess this is where I can finally break down how this game's story mode is going to work. So basically the way I had it explained to me is there really is no story mode per se. It's more of an episode battle list with some episodes being very, very long. Obviously Goku's episode battle is going to be very long. And they did say it will cover events from Dragon Ball Z all the way up into super. Cause you know, this is sparking zero. We're going to have all the way up to super now. How much of Goku's story will it include? I'm unsure how much a what if path is able to split off. I'm also unsure, but it will be more than just Goku. I'm sure Vegeta will also have an episode battle. Gohan, you know, big characters like this. It's also something that I assume, this is my assumption again, that we'll probably get some DLC on in the future, right? Like maybe we'll get a Jiren battle or a T.O.P. episode, you know, something like that, something like that. A very, very DLC friendly method of giving a story content, which is cool. So we see in this screenshot, it is the Goku story and we have the character introduction, a warrior who's constantly in search of new, stronger opponents. And this is what you select basically to get into the Raditz stuff. Now, maybe we'll see like Goku Namek episode and maybe it'll be different, but this episode includes both your standard path and your what if path all the way to the grade eight fight as we saw. And then the final screenshot is a big confirmation. Split screen is available and playable in Sparking Zero with the caveat, I do have to say, you are only able to play split screen on the hyperbolic time chamber map. This is the only map that you can do this on. It is not available on every map, but you can play this mode with a friend locally, which I do think is pretty cool of an inclusion, uh, especially if they had to only go with the hyperbolic time chamber. I assume that means why well, it's very background friendly, right? Like not a lot's going on, no destruction, stuff like that. So probably why they did it. So I'm very happy they included it if this is the way it has to be. Obviously very limited mode. I guess let's go into the custom battle mode so I can break down just what you're seeing here for you guys. So as you can see, we have characters, battle environments, effect settings, scene settings, title screen, thumbnail, all of this stuff you can customize. Uh, the title screen including, which is one of my favorite parts, but we'll get to that when we get to that, right? So as we go ahead and break into this, we're going to go ahead and customize the thumbnail, I believe. So a part of customizing the thumbnail, again, this is gonna be really cool, you'll see. You can choose from any of these stage backgrounds, anything like that, you know, just whatever you want to be in the background, like a classic Dragon Ball eye catcher. So for the effect settings, now we're gonna add some conditions and stuff like that. So trigger condition, this means if, if blank happens. So if let's say, I don't know, let's do, if our allies HP gets to 30% or below, then we will go ahead and recover key and we'll just say our allies recover key by 100. But you can see there's a lot to play around with even here and now we can customize the title screen as you guys see this is a really really fun one so we picked on title screen then you see legendary super saiyan all of the green choices you see here can be customized and that's not all you can also even customize the intro cinematics again you can really create your own campaign mode if you can dream it if you've got the mechanical skill you can come out here and just start making stuff look give me all you got vegeta and now we see we can have him hit a backflip oh Oh my god we just in the studio cooking have gogeta power up have the camera pan around and pause i mean look and then we get our own title card ultimate versus ultimate and again green text can be customized and now we're just playing the game so i guess we're just gonna react to gogeta versus vegeto blue nice teleport behind oh ultimate versus ultimate we've got an exclusive fight here you can make these battles as hard or impossible as you want by the way it's kind of like the raid videos we've been doing here on the channel check those out if you don't know what i'm talking about oh wow what a bounce back by gogeta oh Dash back with some key blasts. Hold up. Vegito kind of putting out all the stops. Destroyed him. Oh, wow. That, like, the dimension breaking was crazy. 
Vegito looking good, but that is the end of the fight. Obviously, it wasn't about the fight necessarily. We were just trying to see, we were trying to see what we got there. So that is a custom battle. We also got one with Beerus, and I'm only gonna highlight one part at the end of Beerus because it does show a good amount. So let's go, let's just skip straight to how the intro cinematics can also look with customizable stuff. So we've got Vegeta hitting a pose. Obviously, we made him do that, right? We have this effect. We have the camera panning around slowly. Then we made the camera go back to this angle. So this is pretty much what it would look like with somebody setting up a quest. They want Vegeta to fight Beerus. This is how that would look, right? So Beerus is hitting his pose, yada, yada. We make the camera do that. But again, oh, we also have the title straight. A battle of speed, defeat Beerus. Again, a battle of speed, defeat blank. And then you can see here, we can get really goofy because obviously Vegeta versus Beerus kind of makes sense. But what if we wanted Vegeta to be, I don't know, Mr. Satan? Then we can just go down here, change the caption, you know, get that going. Oh, it's you, Mr. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a fight that's happening in the series, bro. It's just not happening. So cool, though. But with that said, I think all that's left is the main story and a normal fight. So let's just go ahead and see how this main story cutscene breaks down. Nice. So we just have Goku breaking out and flying into space. Really, really, really cool stuff. You should join us, Kakarot. Think oh, of the brother, we got Raditz standing on the beach now. Look at it. Kame Island never looks so lush, bro. Shut up. That's some HD look. <laughs> join you then you're dumber than you look <laughs> i don't know why that shut up just hit different so obviously before we can this is not kame island this is way the real estate is crazy bro this is going for at least six billion also yeah so you can see before the what if even really starts it's just the episode battle right like this is before we make our decision we're just fighting raddits we're looking good day in the high speed look at how fast you can move Right, it's got a little bit of that armor on him, though. I ain't gonna lie. Nice key wave combo. One thing I noticed when playing this game, they have a classic control scheme and a modern control scheme. Either one you pick, one thing you'll notice is that it is surprisingly very similar to the old games in the combo routes. I was doing my same BT combo on here. The da-da-da sweep, da-da-da knock up. The only thing is you don't get that knockback period after a normal amount of buttons. Like that. That's my normal combo you just saw right there. Oh, look at Raditz diving into the water. That was cool. Of course, classic Dragon Ball campaign, winning the battle, losing the cutscene. We got torched. And the cutscenes, you know, they aren't like as fleshed out as a Kakarot per se. It's more so we'll get these like picture cinematics sometimes. Maybe we'll get some light cutscene, not a lot of movement. But I, I, seeing what I saw myself, you can get a decent bit of movement and some really cool cutscenes out of the game. See, this would be an example of like minimal movement kind of thing. So in this case, I think we actually do make the choice to work with Piccolo. I don't know who's actually... Is anybody going to do this in their first playthrough, by the way? I just wanted to... Who's like, yeah, you know what? Let me go with Piccolo. <laughs> I don't want to see anything new. Makes me sad, man. But now we do get a better cutscene. Again, if you go original, you do tend to get better cutscene. Oh, well, never mind. It stopped. But that was unique, at least. We did not see this when we go with Krillin. We get a different angle of the thing. But of course, that makes sense, right? Going main story, they have more story to give you. One thing that's really cool is that they did let us know that in certain cutscenes, you have the ability to go first person, uh, which is pretty funny. It looks pretty cool, actually. It's like Dragon Ball Z on the Kinect, but not, you know, Dragon Ball Z on the Kinect. You know what I'm saying? We got another battle here. Base Goku just looks so cool, man. The the orange gi, no cover up, bro. Like, hold on. Damn, Raditz is kind of sick, though. Look at Raditz going crazy. Good movement by Goku to get behind. Nice combo. 2K. Hold up. Still comboing. 4K. Drop a 5. 5k combo on him then damn the movement in this game can get really fast all right and we do switch out to piccolo and again we're not we're not gonna hear uh krillin talk about how he has one all right goku does come back in i'm not sure if that was forced or if he just wanted to do it you'll notice on the top left there is a switch out button so uh once you see that ready is when you can switch out in the normal game i'm unsure how it works in story mode whether it's forced or just something you can do if you want to all right, it's too fast, but the anime. Okay, oh my God. I forgot we didn't get to see this in the normal mode. This is when Gohan jumps out. Hey. But again, this is kind of an example of like limited movement cutscenes, right? Like they'll just bounce around between stories like that. Damn. I, I thought when I saw this shot, I thought they were actually gonna make us fight as baby Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he just we just get the one tap on Raditz right now. Now you can see this is an example of a cutscene where for sure you can switch to first person POV. I'm unsure if they're actually going to let us do that though. Say, Kakarot, don't worry, brother. You see your son again in the next world. Man, Raditz is so mean in this mode, man. He didn't have to do this. 
Big grab. Pic Piccolo, your attack. Do it now. Ah, uh, this is sad, man. Goku didn't have to die. He should have just went with Krillin. It was the better ending. Well, except not really, but... See, you can watch all of this in Goku's perspective, meaning you can actually watch yourself get hit with a special beam cannon. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Oh, brother. Yeah, and here we go. We actually get this. We actually get to watch special beam cannon destroy us. <laughs> so you can watch this normally as well, but we're only going to get the first person point of view. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's unfair. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. We just got laid out. Okay, here it is. It's Frieza versus Vegeta. And this is just a normal battle, right? This is not a part of any episode stuff. Yeah, you're just, this is just literally if you picked Vegeta against Frieza, this is how it looks. Vegeta, you talk so grandly for a lowly The dialogue, go watch my other videos on Sparking Zero if you haven't already, because the dialogue looks really good. Death beam cutscene, Vegeta gets hit immediately. Oh my, his clothes already off. This a mismatch. Fight back, fight back, bro. Nice, sweet. See, you'll notice, again, the combo structure, very similar to old BT games. Jump up, follow, knock down. Yeah, only at a much higher speed. That angle can be a little bit awkward. If they get above you, it's hard to kind of see. All right, and Vegeta does have a switch up. That means, wait, so there's somebody on Vegeta's team. We can switch into something. You'll notice the weather does change when you get this ultimate key thing. Uh, go watch my other video again if you want to hear more, more about the battles. Final flash! Oh, it missed, but it hit the planet. Oh, that is so sick. I've never seen that. Oh, my God. It missed, but hit the planet. The planet explodes. That is so cool. On some BT2 energy? I, have, I, I did not see that. But there is a lot of cool stage stuff in this game. Again, go check out my other video if you want to see more on that. All right, and there it is. We do switch out. So that switch bar was there. We switch out into Goku Blue. I did play this character. Um, okay, and he switches out into Broly. Oh my god. They got an all-star cast for us to watch. All right, we're charging up. Oh, no, we're, we're deforming. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing. Wait, are they actually going to fuse in battle? I went ahead and did this myself. I did this in my playing time as well. Deflect a few key blasts, charge up. I'm almost sure that's where they're going. They're going to make us fuse with Vegeta. Surely. Although, something I do want to note, you can actually fuse without being on the same power level, at least Let's in the build that we played. Yup, there it is. They're fusing. Hey! Hey! Bring it! And I'll just say, I'll just spoil you right now. Gogeta has some of the best animations in the whole game. It is, it is crazy how good Gogeta looks. Nice combo. Big time combo on Broly as well. Broly flies in. Ah, uh, now you're going to have to see me in Super Saiyan. Oh, he skipped straight to blue. You can go Super Saiyan if you want, but they didn't want it. Oh, this is a new kind of, this is a new kind of, uh, uh, like, I think that was, I don't even know what kind of interaction that was, but that's a new kind of like clash mechanic. There's a few of those in the game that shows you I'm a few. Cause I saw three and that was when I did not see. Look at how cool Broly looks when he charges too. I want to see if they give us any Gogeta animation. Surely they have to, right? Dash up into a grab. Clash with that. Oh, Gogeta's grab is crazy. Oh, yeah. One of Gogeta's skills, like your blast stock skills. Oh, hold on. He's getting cooked by Broly. One of Gogeta's blast stock skills is that like hand swipe into the blue aura. And it works as like a shield. I did it a few times. I never got it to actually block anything. But it was really, really cool. I was messing around with it a lot. Honestly, I wasted too much time on it. <laughs> there it is. Not even an ultimate, by the way. Gogeta can just do this whenever he wants. Ugh. That animation looks so clean. Broly's dead. He ain't making it out of this one. Bye-bye, Broly. And that is the end of this battle. Oh, he... Oh, he's crazy. Well, that's going to be the end of this reaction video. That's all the content there is to react to. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Again, check out my channel for all things Sparking Zero. We're going to have a ton of coverage on this game. In fact, we already do. So go check that out right now. But when the game comes out, it's going to be even more. I'll see you then.